Well, hi guys, it's Mrs. Cox. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a pumpkin. And if you want to, you can make it into a jack-o'-lantern. So I'll show you that too. So what we will need is a piece of drawing paper, orange crayon, green crayon, possibly yellow or black. If you make it into a jack-o'-lantern. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our orange crayon and right in the middle of our paper, we're going to draw a big curved line going that way and then another one on the other side. Big curved line going that way. All right. Good job. All right. Next, we're going to come right back up to the top and we're going to make another curved line. Only this time it's going to go out farther and then come back to this bottom spot. See how I did that? Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Good. Now I'm going to do the same thing once more. And the other side. Ta-da! Perfect, huh? We will color it in. But you can make a uh, handle, a stem <laughs> for the top of your pumpkin. All right. If you want to make your pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern, you can use a yellow crayon to make it look like there's a candle inside and it's glowing and make whatever kind of face you want to. So I'm going to make a big O-shaped mouth. I'm just coloring it in. And I'm going to make some square eyes and color those in. Ta -da! And let's see, I think I'm going to make a triangle nose. <laughs> now I'm going to take my orange crayon and I'm just going to very carefully color in my pumpkin. Now, if you don't want to put a face on your pumpkin, you don't have to. You could skip that part and just color in the whole thing orange. That's a lot of orange coloring, isn't it? It's nice to have a nice big pumpkin. See how I'm just coloring one section at a time? That makes it a little easier. Now, I bet your teacher has lots of books about pumpkins in your classroom right now, now that it is October. But I will attach some of the ones that I really like to 
this the email that these videos are on. So that you can watch some pumpkin videos too. Alrighty. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? And then we can use our scissors and practice our cutting skills and just cut our big round pumpkin out using our scissors. Remember when we use our scissors that our thumb should be up. It's at the top and it's in the little hole and the rest of your fingers go in the big hole. And then see how I turn my paper? My scissors are staying still. They're just going up and down. But my paper is turning. See, now I'm gonna turn this way. Keep going around. And if that's too much paper, oh, sorry. If that's too much paper hanging down, cut it off. You don't need to make it all one piece. All righty. Isn't he a nice looking pumpkin? Oh, I really like him. I'm going to outline my face. So it looks like I carved into my pumpkin and made my jack o -lantern. Isn't he fun? And he was easy too. So now that you know how to make one pumpkin, you can make lots of pumpkins. You could decorate your whole house. You could decorate your whole classroom. You could send some to Mrs. Cox and I will hang them up in the art room. And then we will all feel like we are truly in fall. <laughs> I hope you had fun, guys. Take your time, color it all in nice, and I will see you very soon. Bye, I miss you.